Hey guys, welcome back to the Snap Rain Chronicles. Today we're coming at you with a bit of something different. It's a push drill. Uh, this is a Yankee push drill, and it might look a little bit different than the push drills that you usually used to. But before we jump into it, as always, a little bit of YouTube business. Uh, I have a goal going on right now. I'm trying to reach 2,000 subscribers by by uh, about the end of June, beginning of summer, if I can reach it. I know it's kind of ambitious, but it's my goal. So how do I get to my goal? Well, I get to my goal when you give me the HBO special. What's the HBO special? The HBO special is the help a brother out special. So help this brother out. You see the glove. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, and that would really help me out. And I'll give you two seconds to do that. Okay. You guys that press the buttons. Much appreciate it. Okay. Uh, here we have a Yankee. This is a Yankee number 45. Uh, North Brothers Manufacturing Company. Uh, division of Stanley Tools. So uh, I'm not sure when. But at some point Stanley took over North Brothers and uh took over these yankee uh drills and uh yankee push screwdrivers um uh, i guess very popular for like a hundred years i guess these started like in the early 20th century these uh push type of uh these push type tools and north brothers was i guess uh the name that if you were looking for this type of tool, this it would usually be North Brothers. And but as you see, Stanley bought them up, and uh, it's Philadelphia, PA, USA. Not I think that's where uh, North Brothers was located. And this is related to this, which is what you might be more used to seeing. This is a regular uh, Stanley Yankee push drill. Uh, it's the number 41 and a little bit interesting here is it says Yankee Tool Tools Incorporated and it says Division of Stanley Tools in Philadelphia PA but it doesn't say North Brothers anymore so I guess uh, towards after the merger they, they were probably phasing out North Brothers and they just left it at Stanley uh, but they did have Yankee tools in corporate I'm not sure what that is that could maybe they changed the name of North Brothers to uh, Yankee tools incorporated and interesting about this one not to uh, go too far off topic is this one has Bell over here on the bottom it says Bell systems so I guess this was a Bell Systems uh, 40, Yankee 41. But this is what you usually think of when you think of a push drill or a mechanical push drill. Usually you see this. This looks more, uh, a little bit more streamlined. Looks a little bit more utilitarian. Um, doesn't have uh, a lot of the parts, moving parts that the other one did. Uh, I seen, I think, uh, Caddis Maximus had a video on one of these, a similar looking one. His was a Craftsman uh, model, I guess, uh, you know, like everybody else. <clears throat> Craftsman, Sears, Craftsman, contracted. Like, I don't think they ever built any tools on their own. They always contracted out to someone. I guess they contracted to Stanley to make a the same drill for them. And these drills you have a collet that hold the bits and you just push up on the collet and the bits come off this bit uh this looks like it was used <laughs> the bit is a bit uh i guess to say it nicely for you guys love to say patina here's this bit has a good bit of patina on it and is actually uh, not very straight either uh, so it looks like they put too much downward pressure 
when they uh, were drilling, I guess. Uh, I did straighten it out a little bit. It's still not perfect, but you know what? It did drill, so I'm not going to mess around too much. Something like this, you bend it too much, and it's going to snap on you. So uh, if you can get it to good enough, then and it works, then just leave it alone. Okay, um, then this whole piece here is held together by a pin. And usually it's very hard to remove, even when you remove the pin for some reason. Uh, it's, maybe it's rusted. A lot of these are rusted solid to where the shafts and the collet here are just very difficult uh, to remove, even with the pin removed. Uh, this one has an oil hole. Kind of strange because the oil is kind of towards to the side here. You see that? It says oil, but you would think it would be right underneath, but it isn't. It's kind of toward the side here, but I guess, you, you know, you know what it's there for. Uh, has a little bit of a, a ring here. Uh, it's, this is one piece, so kind of a formed ring or something machined or whatever. Uh, looks like aluminum. Doesn't, doesn't look or aluminum or pot metal doesn't look uh, like any like high grade anything and it has a plastic this, this one has a plastic handle black uh, not sure what plastic and the cap here's a cap looks also like aluminum let's see if it sticks to the magnet nope it's not uh, steel or any uh, ferrous metal. It will not attract a uh, magnet. This one came with three, I think one fell, uh, three bits in the magazine there. So I uh, have one, two, three in here, and then this one on. Uh, this one came on already. When I bought it, it was like that. One was sticking there. Uh, the plastic barrel, it has like a magazine where you put, uh, your bits, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think eight, eight spots, four, I guess holds up to eight bits. Uh, okay, this, if you want, I'm not going to take the whole thing apart because it's, it's, <laughs> kind of it look, looks kind of a hassle so I'll take some of it apart uh, this is this cap is threaded and it threads for the main dome cap so but you can remove this cap here it looks like it has like some kind of a bottom there that's pressed in and then uh, you can remove your spring and uh, this stick. It always amazes me when I take apart any one of these uh, screwdrivers or push drills. Is this stick. <laughs> For some reason they always have a stick. And the stick is always in, in decent shape. I'm always I'm thinking, boy. Like, the thing will be trashed. But you open it up and the stick will be in, in good shape. And I'm like, how did the stick survive so well? Amazing. But... Uh, here, I guess you can, if you were inclined to, I'm not, you can just, um, I don't think this is screwed in or anything. I think it's just pressed, pressed in there and you can just, uh, heat it up a little bit. I'm not going to re recommend anything, but I guess this is just pressed. And if, if you were so inclined, you can just somehow shimmy it out and it will come out. Don't want to crack it or anything so I'm just gonna leave it alone uh, now it, it moves in and out freely and over here you can see uh, the grooves and the mechanism uh, that ride I'm, I'm, I'm figuring it rides on a piece or two probably two pieces on either side probably in here somewhere but we're just going to leave it at that, but there's a look at what uh, the spiral 
all the grooves look like, the spiral grooves. This looks like brass. Uh, let me let me check again. Yeah, it's not magnetic, so it's probably some sort of brass or something. And this piece looks like brass also. Yeah, but the cap is uh, some sort of steel or something. But the rest of it, no, it's probably brass. And yeah, that's about it for this. And to put it back together, you take your spring. And this one's not in bad shape. Uh, everything looks, I don't see that much rust in the mechanism or on the tool itself. Uh, the bits do have a bit of rust on them, but uh, everything else looks okay. Put this back in with the stick uh, pointing out, and now you grab your threaded cap, and you thread that back on like that. And it has also cutouts here. If this is really stuck on or something or hard to turn, I guess you can put. Uh, some kind of a metal object there, a spanner or something, and it'll help you get some torque on it and twist it off. And here are the other bits that were inside, and as you can see, they are they were used. This one looks like it was really trying to get some stuff out. Not sure what it was drilling. And this one, this one looks a little bit better. Uh, looks like there's some drywall that was uh, in the grooves there. This is a five thirty seconds. It's always like a good feeling when you open up the cap and you find built, uh, you find the bits in there. It's always like an added little uh, surprise or or gift because <laughs> a lot of times you think oh yeah this you paid like two bucks for this and uh, you open it up you don't expect anything but you find there's some bits and yeah, you're kind of happy uh, this I paid I got this in a bag with three other screwdrivers uh, screwdrivers not so good shape I think the only reason I picked this up was I saw this in the bag and the whole bag was two bucks so for two bucks yeah I'll pick it up I like I like these uh, push drills uh, they're kind of cool and I didn't have one in this particular uh, pattern or design so that's an added bonus okay guys that's all I got until next time